New at five, you may live in an area more prone to tornadoes than others, like this that we saw in Adairsville. Now, more than 100 scientists are fanned out across the southeast to find out why. Channel 2's meteorologist Brian Monahan reports from Cobb County, the center of North Georgia's Tornado Alley. This intersection is where a tornado first touched down before becoming the F2 tornado that moved in that direction, hitting Dunwoody about 20 years ago. Scientists are conducting a field experiment right now to figure out why some areas, like here in Cobb, are more tornado prone than others. I'm pretty sure now that the terrain changes the low level winds so that when a storm moves across, it all of a sudden sees, whoa, this air is good for a tornado. Or this air won't support a tornado. And at the foot of the Appalachians, North Georgia has big variations in terrain. Is it urban? Is it forested? Is it open agriculture? What those differences in land use do to the, the wind as it's flowing across? And does it create little local areas where there's more spin? More spin means a better chance of storms producing tornadoes. Vortex Southeast, a field project studying southeast severe storms, aims to unlock why parts of our area are more tornado prone, like northwest of Atlanta. A preferred storm track for longer live supercells. I looked at all North Georgia tornadoes going back to 1960. Here in Cobb, there have been 25. Up in Cherokee County, 23. And across the river in Fulton County, 25. But east of Atlanta, the numbers noticeably drop. Just 10 in a 55-year span in Gwinnett, 8 in DeKalb. I think it's important not to get caught up in the county by county numbers, but just look at kind of Zoom out a little bit, look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture shows about 25% more tornadoes from Atlanta west of the state line. The way the land is used uh, is probably the big thing in the Atlanta area that might influence tornadoes. We'll have boundary interaction from the terrain, like wedge and things like that, that can also interact in those areas. And over the next month, scientists will take a fleet of instruments right into these areas to learn more about why some storms produce tornadoes. Now, Vortex Southeast will begin its third mission of the year later this week as a threat of severe storms moves into the southeast and north Georgia. In Cobb County, Severe Weather Team 2 meteorologist Brian Monahan, Channel 2 Action News. And with rain on the way this week, here's a reminder. Download our Severe Weather Team 2 app. You can get customized forecasts for your neighborhood. Just search WSB in the App Store.